Man City continued their trip hunt on Tuesday evening, traveling to the Spanish capital for the first leg of the UEFA Champions League semi final against current holder Real Madrid. Pepe Guardiola's side collapsed to defeat at the Santiago Bernabeu last season, suffering defeat in the second leg of the semi final against Real Madrid. City came over. Overcame Bayern Munich in the quarterfinals last month and are looking for reach their second Champions League final after losing to Chelsea in 2021. The Blues are unbeaten in the Champions League so far this season and have played German opposition on three occasions. City did, however, began their European campaign in Spain, beating Sevilla 4 0 in September ahead of Tuesday's semi final. First leg, UEFA Champions League have announced match officials for the time. Match refer, referee Arthur Diaz will take charge of proceeding between Rio Madrid and Champion Manchester City at the Santiago Bernabeu midweek. The Portuguese referee has officiated 28 matches so far this season, showing 147 yellow cards and four red cards. One of those red cards came when the 33 year old official last took charge of City sent off Sergio Gomez against FC Copenhagen in October. Assistant referees the referees will be accompanied by assistant referees Paul Soares and Pedro Ribeiro. Video assistant referees overviewing proceedings will be video assistant referees Massimiliano Irati and assistant Van video assistant referee Tiago Martins. The first official Daniel Osato have been named as first official. The official will be overseeing conduct within the two dugouts and the behavior of managers Carlo Ancelotti and Pepe Guardiola. Real Madrid, the current holder of Champions League title, are preparing to face Manchester City in semi final of the competition, the most informed side in Europe, with a bit more than 48 hours to go before the game. The bright lights of the Bernabeu shine down on another tantalizing Champions League semi finals on Tuesday night. As Real Madrid welcomes Manchester City to the Spanish capital for the first leg. The reigning champions put for unanswered goals past Chelsea over the two legs of their quarter final to reach the last four, while Pepe Guardiola's perennial hopeful run out for one aggregate wins over Bayern Munich. The match preview. Proving to be Rio Madrid's two-goal hero on more than one occasion this season, the up-and-coming Rodrigo, who struck a brace to hand, to, to hand Rio a 2 nil win over Chelsea in the second leg of their European quarterfinal, made the lightning strike twice in front of goal during a tense Copa de final on Sunday night. The Brazilians double either side of a drill. Lucas Toro equalizes Pared Ross Blancos to a 2 1 victory over a dog Osasuna to ensure that Karen Chiroti would add to his ever growing trophy haul this month. But after witnessing King Charles's coronation, Los Blancos will soon expect to pay homage to Barcelona as Catalan Giants inch. Ever closer to wrestling the La Liga trophy out of their gasp. With the top flight title almost a formality, Real Madrid will unequivocally prioritize a 15 top level European crown in what remains of a true three season, and they have only failed to reach the final in one of their. Previous five seasons where they have progressed to semis, going down to the eventual winners, Chelsea in 2020 2021. Victory for the Blue Sky Blues over the holders would therefore act as a very good omen indeed for 
choose these visitors, but there are few who question Los Blancos' authority in Europe. At the Ancelotti's side entered the first leg of the back of five successive Champions League wins, keeping clean sheets in each of their last three, and they have scored in 16 continental games on the bounce since a one knee loss to Paris Saint-Germain in February 2022. Toro's strike for Osasuna in Saturday's Copa de final did stretch Real Madrid's overall run without a clean sheet for four matches, so perhaps it's right concern as a daily Militao prepares to watch on from the north step, but any domestic concerns are normally left at the door when the Ross Blancos walk out of the Champions League anthem. Even with his captain on the brink of the first ever career hat-trick in Saturday's crash with Leeds United, there was no room for sentiment in Pepe Guardiola's mind and the Catalonian coach made his feelings perfectly clear after Iker Gundogan smashed his late penalty against the post. Thankfully to, for Guardiola and Co, the Germans' first half brace had already done the damage, but Rodrigo cut off the deficit in half only two minutes after Haaland, who had suffered a rear off the in front of goal, gave Gundogan his blessing to step up to the choke. The ending was far more nail-biting than it should have been for Manchester City, but the end result is a four-point lead over Arsenal at the top of the Premier League table on the same number of matches before the Gunners try to respond against that pressed Newcastle later on Sunday. Also with an FA Cup final in the back of their mind, a terrific terrible remains a distinct possibility for Manchester City, who made Thomas Tuchel's English homecoming a miserable one in a miserable one in a three-nil quarter final first leg win over Bayern Munich before picking up a satisfactory one-one draw in Munich. Out of the citizens' last 16 games in all competitions, that statesman met in German is the only one that have that they have not won although Guardiola is at risk of setting unwanted record of seven Champions League semi-final elimination as a manager. His current statistic of six is the joint most alongside with Jose Mourinho. The most recent of this final four exits came at the hands of Real Madrid last year as City aged a seven-goal 4-3 at the 8 had before losing 3-1 at the Bernabeu after extra time. If last year's extravaganza is anything to go by, fans and neutrals alike are in for a treat. Team news. As mentioned, the United will be forced to work around the absence of Militao for the first leg due to a suspension. The central back was cautioned for the third time in this session's tournament during the second leg of quarterfinals, after which players on one or two bookings had their yellow cards wiped. Left back Flamendi is also struggling to recover from a craft problem and is expected to miss out too, but Luka Modric managed to play a part of a part as substitute in the Copa Dre final after shaking off a hamstring concern and is at seven years old should be given the green light to start on Tuesday. Music to the eyes of Ancelotti at the Bainabeo Faithful. Aurelia Chuamen could be the unlucky fulcrum to make way to Modric while Antonio Rudiga will join forces with David Araba at the back in place of Militao. Meanwhile, Eduardo Camavinga, who could now proudly claim to have won every major trophy with Rio Madrid at the tender age of 20, should continue in his makeshift left back role. 
A defensive concern is also lingering in the mind of Guardiola, who lost Nathan Ake to apparent hamstring issue with 54 minutes gone against Leeds, and the fans are anxiously awaiting updates on the Dutchman's condition. Corey Palmer's uncle is also giving him grief, but the 21-year-old would never have started here. In any case, Guardiola will be tempted to recall Kyle Walker to try to keep Vinicius Jr. to be. While a host of well-rested regular in, in Rodri, John Stones, Bernardo Silva, and Jack Grealish are also primed to return to the first eleven after Guardiola's rang the changes at the weekend. It was not Haaland's day in front of the goal at the weekend, but the 35 goal Norwegian, Norwegian who also recently broke the single season Premier League record with the same number, averages a goal every 58 matches in minutes in the Champions League, and surprisingly, the best ratio in the history of the competition, and he will give it. His admirers printed to think about on Tuesday. Rio Madrid possible starting 11. Courtois, Cavajari, Rodriga, Arba, Camavinga, Valverde, Cross, Modric, Rodrigo, Benzema, Vinicius Jr. Manchester City possible starting lineup. Ederson, Walker, Diaz, Akanji, Stone, Rodri, Silva, Dublin, Gundogan, Grealish, and Haaland. Thank you very much for being with us. Let's wait the result of this first leg of UEFA Champions League 2022 to see if City will proceed to the final in 2023. Thank you very much and see you.